here. So everybody, please welcome Scott Adam. <laughs> Second. Uh, I'll go second. Okay, Scott, you can pick any category you'd like. Any category. Uh, TV. TV, all right. Category. Your question is, if you were to go on the show Naked and Afraid, which is you spent 21 days in the wilderness with no clothes with one other person, right? Which item would you bring? You had to bring one item. Would it be a fire starter or duct tape? Uh, first, I want to say I don't understand like the concept of the show <laughs> because I'm a liberal and like we do not allow ourselves to feel guilty about pleasure. We just feel guilty about everything else. And I am a white male, middle aged, and I make a really good living. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm truly, I'm sorry. I'm not giving the money back though. Um, uh, duct tape. I just use duct tape for everything. I mean. I had a car that was held together mostly by duct tape. I, I, I've seen the show, but uh, plus you can probably, I can cover my naughty bits with the duct tape too. Ah! You know, <laughs> if, I, if, I, you know, if I feel self-conscious or something, you have a little coverage there, and you don't want to take the duct tape off after that. Words of the wise, yeah, if you put duct tape on your, yeah, don't take it off. Um, yeah, it's waterproof, right? It always rains on these things. They're always like, they get dysentery and all this other stuff. I've seen this show, it's a really terrible show. So duct tape, you can build a house, you can do just about anything with that. What's the other thing? That was the other choice I forgot. No. Fire starter. <laughs> if I'm on Naked and Afraid, I, I don't even care that the other thing is a fire starter. I absolutely do not want the one thing I have to be duct tape. Because I'm already going to be embarrassed being naked on national television. I don't want them to realize that 18 of my 21 days are me trying to tear the first piece off. <laughs> I just like can't get it and I don't have any other tools so I just have all these like squished together pieces of duct tape that aren't useful. But like the fire starter, you can like you can build a little fire, keep yourself warm, you can cook, you can have a little you can you can start up a second reality show. You can have a master chef thing going on while you're naked and afraid. I'm all about efficient television, ladies and gentlemen. We need to have every show happen at once, and that's what the fire starter will do. You know, you just, you're just starting fires, you're building things, you can start like some small businesses, some industry. You know, you can, you can really get yourself off the ground with the fire starter. That's, that's what I gotta go with. All right. I'll still go with duct tape because if you have like teeth or hands, it's easy to rip a piece of duct tape. Really, it really is. If you're a man, like, it's not hard to tear duct tape. <laughs> and the best part, the best part about the duct tape is eventually, like these couples, they always end up bickering, things aren't going well. Duct tape means you can get the other person to shut the fuck up. You know? <laughs> duct tape their mouth, tie their hands together with duct tape, you, you end the show happily. Yeah. No. Well, first. <laughs> Like, I get it, you, you said I'm not a man, but, like, based, based on, like, you wanting to duct tape other people's, like, mouths to stop them from talking, like, I'm, I'm glad I have communication skills that aren't like a man, you know? Like, I'm gonna talk that out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do some weird bondage on TV with someone, and they're, they're, you're not even in a couple. You're just attacking someone. <laughs> All right, I got to hand the word here to Tyler Jernigan. 